Look at some trading ideas this afternoon. Manav's also with us now. Manav, let's start off with you then. What's on your radar today? Yes, my first buy call is on Marico. In fact, the prices after a good sideways consolidation had witnessed a good breakout today, uh, which has been accompanied by volumes. And the prices are also trading above its long-term averages. I sense after this weekly breakout and the sideways consolidation, uh, and, the, and since the prices are still in a strong uptrend, we could see some higher levels in the near term. Recommend a buy into this with a stop loss of 385 on the lower side for an upside target of 435. My second buy call is on Torrent Power. Uh, we've seen the stock euro see a, a corrective decline from its recent peak of 310, and uh, the prices have also breached its falling trend line drawn from its recent peak, which has confirmed a short term trend reversal. And uh, on a short term basis, the prices are also trading above a short term DMA of, fifth, of, of, uh, of, of, of the near term. And uh, we have seen uh, support of uh, addition and open interest. So in the near term perspective, we, we expect the stock to move higher as the oscillators are still in the buy mode or stop loss of 280 for torrent power. And we expect an upside target of 305. Okay, so you can... Okay, and Manav, uh, what are your uh, top closing strategies? Yes, I have two calls. My first call is buy on Adani Power. Basically, the stock has been on a very good momentum trend recently and has also managed to exceed its recent swing high. Uh, looking at the overall setup also on the weekly and the monthly time frame, it indicates the stock is on a very strong momentum. Uh, I, I sense in the near term, we could see a prolonged rally coming to the stock uh, on the lower side. It has important support zone around the level of 65. I recommend a buy into this with a stop loss of 64. I expect an upside target of 72. My second buy call would be on Tata Global. Um, uh, in fact, we've seen the stock being a broader trading band, having strong supports around the levels of 250. And, you know, we've seen the stock multiple times uh, test these support levels, which also coincides with long-term averages. On the upside, we expect the stock to see a breakout above the resistance zone of 282. Now, we've seen a fresh crossover on the momentum of status. I think it's a good time to enter long positions. A stop loss of 268 on the lower side, and we expect an upside target of 290. Okay, let's begin winding down trade then and after what's been a fabulous Friday and emotions, uh, Manav, just wanted to get in a quick take from you. Um, how have you read into the trend that we've seen in trade today? A bit of a breather kicking in and some of the banks as well feeling the heat. Yes, absolutely. Uh, see, the markets have already seen a very st uh, strong reversal. In fact, I would call this was a parabolic move in last couple of trading sessions like Kunal and uh, uh, has updated, you know, we've already seen this move coming and pose this move a short-term consolidation, but most important thing is that most of the PSU banks, we've seen a very strong bounce from its oversold levels and I sense as long as, uh, uh, you know, the gap pattern and the support is held, uh, one can uh, look into this markets for a buy on dips approach and eventually on the bank nifty, I sense once if we start closing above 30,300, we could see uh, a, a, a strong upside coming into. So um, uh, keeping a bet on the PSU banks could be the bet because they have been the Lagards recently and we could see a sharp uh, move on rally in the near term. Thanks so much, gentlemen, for sharing with us your views as we have wrapped up today's Wednesday's closing session, Tuesday rather, at 11,588. We'll slip into a quick break. Stay with us for more on closing trades.